See that truck driver smiling at the way station? He's running a Cat 3406E and just passed a stranded Cummins X-15 owner. The Detroit diesel driver? He's calling his boss about fuel costs again. These drivers don't know that it costs them thousands yearly. In the next 10 minutes, I'll show you the exact conditions under which each of these engines crushes the competition. And it's not what the dealerships tell you. Most drivers pick the wrong engine for their routes, and I've got the maintenance records to prove it. Number one, the hidden truth about power versus reliability. Ever notice how truck stops are divided into unofficial camps? Cat guys are in one corner, Cummins loyalists are in another, and Detroit defenders are keeping to themselves. It's like watching rival sports fans, each convinced their team is unbeatable. But what if they're all wrong about which engine's best? Each of these powerhouses has built quite a reputation over the years. Caterpillar's known for bulletproof reliability the kind that keeps running when everything else fails. Cummins has that raw, aggressive power that makes drivers smile when they hit the throttle. And Detroit? They've carved out their niche with fuel economy, keeping owners happy at the pump. But here's where it gets interesting. These reputations only tell half the story. Your dealer conveniently forgot to mention that each engine has a fatal flaw that emerges under specific conditions. These aren't rare scenarios. They're conditions most drivers face regularly without realizing they're slowly killing their engine. Take the legendary Caterpillar 3406E. This beast has incredible torque at 1,850 pound-feet and horsepower ratings up to 550 horsepower. But there's a catch that's becoming more obvious every year. Its pre-emissions design, while more straightforward and reliable in many ways, means it's becoming harder to service as parts availability dwindles. That engine might run forever, but finding someone who can work on it or sourcing those critical components, that's becoming the real challenge. Then there's the Cummins X-15. With all its promises of superior fuel economy thanks to those advanced electronic controls. They don't tell you what happens when you hit the mountains. Field data shows a surprising 7% drop in efficiency when running in mountainous terrain compared to the cat. That's money burning with every uphill climb, and those percentage points add up faster than you think over a million miles. Detroit Diesel Series 60 engines have earned their reputation for million mile potential. Ask any old timer and they'll tell you stories about those power plants running seemingly forever. But there's pleasing print nobody mentions. This legendary longevity only happens when operated consistently at highway speeds. Put that same engine in urban delivery or regional haul with frequent stop and go driving and you're looking at a lifespan reduction of nearly 40%. That's not a minor detail. The difference between rebuilding at 600,000 miles instead of a million. The real problem isn't simply choosing an engine. It's matching the right engine to your specific route and load profile. Most drivers run the wrong engine for their application and then wonder why their maintenance costs are through the roof or why they're burning through more fuel than the guy next to them at the truck stop. Imagine spending $30,000 on a rebuild that could have been avoided entirely just by knowing which engines truly excels for your situation. That's not hypothetical. It's happening daily to drivers who bought into reputation without understanding the nuances of engine performance. When you're hauling heavy loads through the rock Rockies, Caterpillar's consistent power delivery makes a huge difference. On flat interstate roads with constant speeds, Detroit's efficiency shines through. And for those mixed-duty regional routes, the Cummins flexibility might be your best bet, despite what the guy at the coffee counter might tell you. Most drivers don't realize that these engines were designed with specific use cases in mind. The engineers who created them weren't trying to build the perfect all-around engine. They were solving specific problems for specific applications. When you mismatch engine to application, you fight against the design principles that make these power plants exceptional. Number two, the unexpected economics of engine selection. Beyond the specs and reputation, these engines have a financial calculus that few drivers ever consider. That Detroit driver boasting about his 7.2 miles per gallon at the truck stop? He's conveniently forgetting to mention the $4,200 he just spent on injectors last month. Those maintenance costs completely transform the economic equation of engine ownership. 
When drivers compare these three Titans, they're typically fixated on the price tag and miles per gallon. However, focusing solely on these metrics is like judging a restaurant by its menu prices without considering portion sizes. The actual cost of ownership emerges through a complex interplay of factors that only become apparent after hundreds of thousands of miles. Let's talk real numbers. Is that Detroit Diesel Series 60 delivering an impressive 7.2 miles per gallon on long hauls? The sales brochure won't highlight that maintaining that efficiency requires precision maintenance at intervals 30% shorter than its competitors. Skip those extra service visits, and that fuel economy advantage evaporates faster than diesel on hot pavement. The Cummins X15 presents an entirely different economic puzzle. It generally offers the lowest initial acquisition cost among these three powerhouses, tempting fleet managers to watch their capital expenditure. However, looking deeper into the five-year picture, we see that their parts pricing structure translates to running 22% higher maintenance costs than Caterpillar. That upfront savings? It's a financial mirage. Most owners fail to track the profound impact of geography on service schedules in their maintenance spreadsheets. Take mountain operations. A Cat 3406E haul in the Rockies needs valve adjustments 40% less frequently than a Cummins running identical routes. For operators in places like Colorado or Montana, this maintenance differential translates to thousands in labor costs and dramatically reduced downtime over the engine lifespan. Climate creates another layer of economic complexity. Detroit engines shine in northern operations, maintaining optimal performance in temperatures below negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit without modification. Meanwhile, common power plants require additional winterization, block heaters, fuel additives, and other cold weather accommodations that add upfront costs and ongoing operational expenses. I never thought I'd see the day, says veteran mechanic Roy Chambers at a Wyoming truck shop, but I'm watching guys trade in perfect Cummins setups for Detroit engines just because they're tired of thawing out their fuel lines every December. They'll sacrifice a bit of versatility for that cold weather reliability. Perhaps the most overlooked economic factor in the equation is depreciation, specifically how these engines hold their value. A decade-old truck with a Cat 3406E commands 15 to 20 percent higher resale prices than identical models with other engines. Engines. This premium retention essentially functions as a rebate on that higher initial purchase price, completely reframing the long-term economics for owner-operators planning to sell before a significant rebuild. The financial picture gets even more nuanced when factoring in geographical parts availability. Detroit components might arrive same day in coastal regions, while cat parts could take 48 hours, move to the Midwest, and that equation often reverses. This availability differential directly impacts downtime costs, potentially hundreds per hour for time-sensitive loads. Even warranty coverage plays into the actual cost calculation. Cummins typically offers the most comprehensive base warranty, but Detroit excels with its extended service options. Meanwhile, CAT's dealership network provides the most consistent servicing experience across regions, a factor that becomes critically important for fleets operating across multiple states. The smartest owner-operators I know, says veteran fleet manager Sarah Donovan, they're matching their engine choice to their business model not just their driving preference. One guy runs exclusively Chicago to Dallas with consistent loads. He's all Detroit. Another handles varied regional hauls with weight fluctuations. Cummins made more sense. The route defines the engine, not the other way around. Here's the truth that experienced drivers understand. Choosing between these three legendary engines isn't about which one is best. It's about which matches your specific driving conditions. The Cat 3406E thrives in punishing environments where reliability under extreme stress matters more than fuel economy. Meanwhile, the Cummins X15 finds its sweet spot handling diverse regional routes with changing elevations and varying loads. And despite what the other camps may say, nothing touches a Detroit Series 60 for consistent long-haul efficiency when cruising the plains. So the next time you overhear those heated debates at the fuel islands, just smile knowing what they don't.
that competent operators match engines to routes, not ego or brand loyalty. The real winners in this showdown aren't wearing team colors. They're the drivers calculating their actual cost per mile across their specific territory. Remember to subscribe for our next video, in which we'll show you how to interpret those subtle engine sounds that signal problems thousands of miles before catastrophic failure. Those odd clicks and whines are actually speaking a language that could save you a small fortune if you know how to listen.